what is the second step to subtracted integers? And building up on our lecture on the three steps to subtract and integers, we're going to emphasize here on the second step, but we are going to go ahead and complete steps one, two, and three. So what is the second step to subtracting integers? Once again, we're subtracting, okay, and there's going to be two integers, variables A and variable B, okay? Here we go, and we got A minus B equals a plus negative b all right now where did we get this positive from well that's the second step here for example we have 12 minus 2 equals what well it says here to change this subtraction sign to a positive so change the second is the second step change is the second step so 12 minus 2 equals 12 plus and the third step is basically adding opposites, right? So it's minus 2 because the opposite of 2 is negative 2. Okay, uh, let's give you a clear clarification here, right? So example, 1,000 minus 50. So the first step is we're going to leave 1,000 alone, right? And the second step is to change this subtraction sign once again to a positive sign. So we're left with... 1,000 plus negative 50, all right? Here we go. One more example here. 3 minus 1 equals 3 plus negative 1, okay? So that is the second step. It's just basically changing the subtraction sign in the original value into a positive. In the third step, I'll show you why 50 becomes negative 50, why does 1 become negative 1? 